Tonight, accusations against an Evanston nursing home. The children of this World War II veteran says conditions inside nearly killed their father. This is all very sad and confusing for him, uh, whereas it would make it makes me angry. CBS 2 News starts right now with breaking news. The family of a 96-year-old World War II veteran says his situation at an Evanston nursing home went from bad to worse. They claim the facility made him sick and he's now facing eviction. CBS 2's Dana Kosloff talked exclusively with the man's son tonight. Charles Bannis is a decorated World War II bomber pilot. He worked hard and raised a family. And he's been living at Evanston's Westminster nursing facility for the past 16 years. But a neglect lawsuit filed this month claims contaminated water from a burst sewage pipe over Banna's bedroom last June was never properly addressed or cleaned by the staff, leaving the 96-year-old veteran seriously ill and unable to attend the 75th D-Day commemoration overseas. It went from pneumonia to them uh, neglecting to actually leaving him unattended in their care facility for such a long time that he fell and broke his pelvis. Then bed sores and ultimately permanently disabled. I spoke and with Banna's son Mark via Skype, who says independent tests done by a private company found fecal matter and high levels of mold spores in his father's unit. So the family believes that had the facility addressed the leak on a timely basis, had appropriately cleaned the unit, that the uh, substance that caused the eventual affection would not have happened. But Mark Banna says it only got worse. In May, Westminster filed suit to evict his father despite a life care contract signed in 2003 and more than a million dollars Bannis already paid to the nursing care facility. Bannis and their eviction lawyer believe it's retaliatory. To get him to stop, to get him to not complain, to get him to, I think the original intent was to drop it. According to the eviction lawsuit, Westminster claims the elderly Bannis owes them more than $50,000. His son, an attorney, says Westminster actually owes them money over billing Bannis for years. This case is really a parade of horribles. Now, both battles may end up in court. Bannis's children just want it settled, and their father cared for properly. I think this is all very sad and confusing for him, uh, whereas it would make, it makes me angry. I spoke with a Westminster official tonight who says the facility has not yet been served with the neglect lawsuit, so he couldn't comment on those claims. When I asked him about why Westminster was suing to evict Bannis, he said he couldn't discuss that for privacy reasons. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica. Thank you, Dana.